Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Linda 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about QCAD. QCAD is a free and open source alternative to AutoCAD and a great companion to use side by side with Blender. Uh, in QCAD, in case you are migrating from AutoCAD, uh, it's quite common to try to find uh, similar commands and we have quite a few of uh, options from QCAD that uh, works the exact same way from AutoCAD. If we open here the modify menu, you'll see that we have many options. For instance, you'll find an offset, a trim, a chamfer, stretch, divide many of the same commands that we find in AutoCAD. Let me focus on one of them in this video, which is the trim, because it's a cause of many confusion from uh, people that is uh, that uh, try to migrate from AutoCAD to QCAD because it works, uh, it doesn't work the same way as in AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, the trim command will cut lines. Here in QCAD, it works uh, as if it was an extend. This is the icon for the trim. This is the modify toolbar. I can, uh, if you want to enable this modify toolbar on your QCAD, it doesn't appear by default. You can right click on an empty space and uh, choose toolbars and modify. It will enable this toolbar here. So let's see how to use the trim. If I click on the icon, you will see that uh, here on the command line, it will ask us to choose a limiting entity. I will choose this line here. And now it's asking us to choose an entity to trim. If I place my cursor here, it will extend the lines. It doesn't cut your, uh, your lines like in AutoCAD. So uh, what is the best option to actually cut lines? Let me press the ask key to cancel the command. And the best option to cut lines here is to use this, uh, this breakout segment command. If I click on this option, you will see that it's asking us to choose a line or segment. If I click here, for instance, it will cut the lines based on intersections. And this is it. This is one of the best options. This is the best option to trim uh, lines uh, here in uh, QCAD. And again, whenever I have the opportunity to explain or to recommend QCAD, I have to make those small adjustments because many, many people that comes from that is trying to migrate from AutoCAD to QCAD will find it uh, strange or uh, different because it uses the same name, but it does the opposite as you uh, as you have in AutoCAD. Did you find this tutorial useful? Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future tutorials. And don't forget to check my latest uh, workshop uh, using Blender uh, to uh, create 3D models with precise uh, modeling for architecture, engineering, and 3D printing. Links in the description. See you next time. Bye.